Hi everybody, how are you? So I'm going back and today we are going to create a language switcher to be able to choose a language to our application because now we we only change the, the language by changing the data in the code so we we wanna let the user choose which language uh, he wanna see the app, okay? So the idea is to add a button here in the toolbar uh, with an icon uh, and when the user click in it uh, it appears uh, like a drop down or a selector so it, he can choose the language he wanna so if you come here to the Cosar documentation we already have an example of a language switcher here in the Quasar options helper and app internationalization so if you come here, create a language switcher. So the idea, we are going to use something very similar to this. So let's copy this. And we are going to put in the layouts, main layout, We that is the file that has the toolbar that is, that is used in the entire application. So the idea is we have that toolbar title that is the notes app and we are going to paste here the selector and we also need to copy so we are going also to copy this javascript part we already have some data here so we are going to only copy the data that we we wanna add so let's add here Okay, let's save. And we need also to add this watch property. The watch property watch change in some data, some data uh, component. So here we have a language, okay, that has the actual language. And this watch is watching changes in this language. So when we change the value of this language, it runs this function. Okay, so the idea here, we have an array with the available language. Okay, so let's change that because this is not one of our available languages. Let's put the PTBR. Let me change my keyboard layout. Okay, Portuguese. We are going to also add one more for Spanish. Yes, yes. Espanol. Okay. So uh, now let's check if it just works. Okay. It, it will not look like we wanna, but it should work. Okay. So now we have the language. Uh, by default the Portuguese, okay? So if I change here to English, my application automatically change to English. And if I choose the Spanish, my application automatically change to Spanish. Okay, so what is happening here? So I have a select that has a model that points to my lang object. And I have the, the already selected option that is the by default the, this is the value that I have by default that I have set that here in this boot file I have so I am saying that btbr is my default language so I can catch this default language using this uh, object okay and I have here the array with the available language so I have this value match with the PTBR so by default it is the let me refresh it is the default value selected in my, my select component so let's change the behavior now because I want to use here a button and not a um, selector because this looks a little ugly to me so let's come here so the idea is to use something like a menu okay because when i click on a menu i it appears like options okay so i wanna 
to add my language as options of a menu. Okay, so let's use this basic menu example. Let me copy it. Okay, copy. Let me paste it here after the select. Let's save. Okay, let me remove the items that I don't need. And uh, what I need to do here is to make a for through each language option. Okay, so here I'm going to let me change the name of this variable. Let me remove the selector because we are go not going to use the selector. Let me change the name of this to language. Okay, languages. Okay, just right and. Here, let me. Um, ah, it is here. Okay, so here I'm going to do a V4, and I'm going to have language in uh, languages. Okay, languages. Nice. And here I'm going to have a uh, uh, the language dot. Let me check label, okay? And uh, um, okay, let's see how it looks like. It is a basic menu. It, I can see the options, okay? And I want to do something when I click on these options, okay? So when I click, I wanna. I want to catch this language. I want to set the new language, okay? So to do that, I need to set the lang is going to receive the language dot value, I think. Yeah, value. Okay. So let's check if now if it is working. Let's change to English. It is working very well. Okay. So let's fix the button style. Okay. So let's come here to the bottom section. Okay. And I want to use a flat button. Okay. Because I don't want to have this button because it's the same color. It doesn't look very good. So. To do that, we need to add a property that is the flat property. Okay. And now I can see the text, but we are going to replace the text by an icon. Okay. So let me remove the label. I think I can also remove. No, I, I will remove the property later. So, and I need to add this an icon. Okay. I'm going to have only icon and let's check the icons documentation to search for a language icon. Okay. So here we are going to search for language. And I like this one, the translate icon. So let's put here the translate. Oops translate okay let's save let's check how it looks like so let's me let me remove this color and let's check how it looks like it looks like a squared button I wanna this to look like a rounded button so to do that I need to add the property round let's check now it looks beautiful okay so if I choose here the Portuguese I'm already in the Portuguese so if I choose the English it changed to the English Spanish the same to the Portuguese change the language okay but now we have a problem if I refresh my page let's change to English first if I refresh my page how you can see I lost the language that I have selected. So to solve that, what we need to do is to save the language that I chose 
in somewhere and retrieve this language and set when I start my application it should get the, the language that I have set it, that I have saved and set the language as the default language. How I can do that? So we are using Dexy, okay? But Dexy is like a very complex database and it has a, a very it has tables and I only want to save one thing. So to do that every browser comes with something that is called local storage. Local storage is an API that lets you save something just using a key. So I, I am giving an example like that. Uh, I have a, a set item method. Okay, I'm going to set an item and name. Okay, and the name is going to be Romario. Okay, I am save. I save that. I will refresh the page. And I'm going now to use the local storage to get an item, okay? And I'm going to get the name. How you can see, the data was saved and I was able to retrieve the, the data, okay? And I only use a key to set the data that I want to save and it is a very simple data what I want to save. So in this case I want to save only the value of the language that I want to use. So it is a very simple data. So I can use that. The local storage uh, can be used by this simple type of data. It is not very useful but for like complex data how we have notes here but for a simple data it's very very useful. And it keeps the data for a long time. If you clean the data of your browser, it will clean everything. It will clean the, the Dixie database, it will clean the local storage, but it saves the data for, for a very long time. So it is very safe. So the idea here is when we are watching the, the change in the language, okay? So when a new language is set up, we can save in the local storage storage oops set item okay and we can set the item lang okay and save the language that we are receiving okay the new language and here in the boot file for the internationalization we are setting the default language okay what you can do here is to get the language from from the local storage by doing the local storage dot get item oops dot get item and get the item lang okay and if we have the lang so we can do that here. Uh, so if we have the lang, so lang, exist lang, so lang. If not, use the pt br by default, okay? And uh, here I can replace this by lang, okay? So I'm getting the language from the local storage and in, if the language is not available, I will set PTBR by default. So let's check now if it is working. I will change my language to English and refresh the page. And how you can see, it now keeps the language that I have selected previously. So I think now the application is really really done we can keep improving things you can you can also improve things in your application customizing the application and the features but i think in the next video we can really start working on build the applications for web for android electron and everything that i said in the first video so thank you so much for watching and bye bye